Welcome to episode 12 of How to Do Character Voices with a Beginner Player. We hope today that you are having an absolutely wonderful and excellent day today. And as always, remember, when you're doing character voices, it doesn't have to be perfect. Whatever you do, it's going to be okay. Today, we are going to talk about character quirks. Character quirks are really fun, simple ways that you can take your character and make it memorable. So to make a character quirk, think of something that your character might say or do that voices personality and really repeat those things. So here are a few examples. This is the character Sanyama. And um, I was walking down along the uh, road when... <coughs> Sorry, I had a seagull bone stuck in my throat. And something that he always does is he's constantly choking and then coughing out seagull bones. Do that two or three times during the session, your players will start to laugh about it, and then the next time you do it, they automatically associate that with that character. And that creates this, this sort of familiar and comforting feeling about all of your NPCs. Here's another example. This is Torvac, another NPC in one of my campaigns. And he always says this same line. For every single paragraph of dialogue, he will say this line at least once. For the honor of my ancestors, I went down the street and I saw a street urchin trying to steal from a guard. So I had to tackle him and stop him. He was shaking in his boots, and I did it for the honor of my ancestors, to make my father proud. So, that kind of, for the honor of my ancestors, keeps coming up over and over and over again. Here's, a, here's another character. Here's a lizard man, and his quirk is that he constantly is stalking things and talking about how he was stalking things. I was stalking the tree when all of a sudden I saw its two legs sprout out of the ground, and it ran far, far away. But Squeak Squeak was able to follow the trail. The trail of the tree left stalking the tree. Here's another example. A triton with a fish that he talks to that constantly gives wise advice. Picture this amphibious fish person who can talk to fish. The fish says, do not eat out of the hand that does not feed you. The fish says that sometimes swimming in circles is the only option. Here's a quirk for a dwarf that I often have. He'll constantly say, oh I. Oh I! Here's another example for that same dwarf. If you want to voice a dwarf, something that can be kind of fun to add is really strange, vaguely insulting sayings that don't make sense and always have something to do with rocks or underground monsters. You're about as smart as an egg on a rock, and you cook about as well as a mining ogre. Or perhaps an elf who is really arrogant. I am Haith, the most beautiful elf in all of East Haven. These quirks will not only help the table remember your character and really get that warm, comforting feeling of familiarity, it'll also help you act the character and remember what your character sounds like. Whenever I do my impressions, after not having practiced in a long time, I always go back to the focal point of that character. Rather than starting out with a dwarf and saying some random dialogue like, I'm a miner, oh! I would start off with, Oh, I! You're a dwarf and not mean stubborn! And that helps dial in your voice. Or the lizard man. I was stucking along the tree, and I saw with my very own eyes the rock got up with its two hind legs, and it ran away as far as Sleek Sleek could follow. Or, perhaps in, in the elf's case, I am the most beautiful elf in all of East Haven. Or perhaps a more grumpy elf. You are wasting my time and my talents. However you voice your character, think of a line that really brings out your character's personality and practice that line a few times until you get it down. Make something funny, lighthearted, and jovial. It doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be a joke. Like, for Knowles, we can laugh at how crazy they sound. <laughs> tree, tree, no look at me, me. 
however you do your character, just remember to have fun with it. This has been an episode on the importance of having a quirk for your character. We hope this helps you bring something funny and memorable and enjoyable to your table and helps you have a lot more fun with voice acting your characters. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Whatever you do, it's going to be okay. So have fun with it. Stay awesome. Have a wonderful rest of your day.